Hi there, and uh, welcome all of you to my channel, Get Me With Faraz. So, uh, with a series that we were continuing about the HTML, the next topic is going to be the tables in HTML. Let us move on to the table uh, table tag in HTML. So, uh, whenever we like, as as a human, when whenever I or whenever somebody wanted to draw a table. Like if I want to draw a table, I have to have two things in my mind. First thing is how many number of rows, how many number of rows I wanted that I should have in mind, and how and how many number of columns I should have that I should uh, keep in my mind. Uh, with these two things in my knowledge, in my mind, I can draw a table. The same goes with the HTML. So first thing first you have to decide how many number of rows and how many number of columns you want uh, in in your table once you have decided uh, you, then you can move further so in order to draw a table in HTML the first thing that you have to do is to uh, use the table tag table tag opening and table tag closing you have to take within that tag you have to draw define the structure of your table let us go into the screen and see what all we got here so if I move on to the screen uh, I'm gonna be opening uh, yeah, here, here my notepad plus plus is open so uh, I'm gonna draw a table though so for that purpose I'm gonna just uh, uh, write the uh, default structure of HTML uh, skeleton of HTML that is this one doc type I've already disc discussed about this uh, tags in my previous videos if you want if you want to know about this I can go uh, and watch the playlist entire playlist is there for that so you can watch the head tag now in the head tag you have title tag I title tag and title tag closing now in this title tag I will write here as this is table implement uh, implementation so in the title I'm, I'm saying this now comes the body tag body now the body tag oh sorry body tag opening and body tag closing now within this I want I have to uh, keep a table because I can't take a table in the title that's a foolish thing to do so in the body tag I'm gonna be specifying the table For that purpose I told you that I should have a table tag so I'm gonna start a table tag here uh, oh, sorry I'll start a table tag opening and table tag closing sorry I forgot that for was last year yeah there we go so my table is been closed now within this I want to define the structure now as you all know that every table is have a heading and a data right for a heading we're gonna use th tag see there is a uh, there is a bit difference a small difference between the th tag and td tag but the work of both this tag is same now the th tag uh, gives you the text in bold form that may be used for headings and td tags will not be in the bold form it will be in the normal form that we will be used for inserting the data that is t head table head and td that is table data now uh, for example if i want to have the table like this like i want three i want three rows and i want three columns so when I say three rows, I have to use three times the tr tag. How? I have this table tag. Uh, within this table tag, I have to draw the structure. I say I already told you about that. Now, for example, if I want to have three rows and three columns, so when I say three rows, I that means I have to use the tr tag three times. Now look at this tr. This is one time. I'm gonna copy this thing. TR one time, TR two time, TR three times. Now this this is gonna create three rows. Three rows it's gonna create. So what about the column? So for column, you have TD tag or TH tag. That's gonna define the number of columns in your uh, table. For example, if I want uh, three columns, I told you I'm gonna take three TD tags, TD or TH, um, TD. I'm copying this one and two three uh, one two three and one two and uh, three so three rows by three TRs one two and three three columns with one two three one two three and one two three that's gonna be three into three that's gonna be nine elements in total so so 
whatever this tag tr tag the first row i want to have some data here one uh, i'll take two i'll take three here four five and six seven eight and nine so I have given certain data here and I'm, I will save this file and I'm going to launch it so that you can have the first view of how our table is being created. Uh, the name of this is table 2. So you can see that numbers like that's not that doesn't look like a table I know because it doesn't have a border. So for that purpose we are going to specify the border in the table tag here it is and border is equals to I'll take it as uh, 1. Now it, it seems a bit organized, a bit organized, I know not like a table, now I'll change it to the table. The first thing first is I want to have the heading. So for heading I need another row, tr. Another row in this, I have to have the heading. Yeah, I have to have this heading. So this is going to be uh, taken inside a t head tag because this is going to define the heading of my table and within this tr I have to take th I'll take uh, anything name uh, I'll copy this name 3 again I want three, 3 of these because I have taken 3 columns right name I'll write place I'll write something called maybe interest interest okay so I'll save this now you can see something here there we go I got the heading that's what I am talking about now it looks like a table right now I'll just make it more uh, more consistent more relevant right? in the first column uh, first column I want any name John place uh, America anything like that now interest is football You go Smith, you go and there, you go Cricket. The last one is, uh, I mean, Luke. Then you have uh, maybe Russia and Basketball. Basketball. Now, I've changed the data here. Now you can see that you can see that it perfectly looks like a table so you have to remember that how many number of columns you need how many number of rows you want according to that you have to take that many number of tr tags that many number of td tags now moving further if i want to have uh, if i want to move my table like it's a very small table right if i want to uh, increase the width of the table or height of the table i can do that how you go to the table tag here you go to the width, width here, sorry, spelled wrong, width, you take, uh, maybe I'll take it as 100, sorry, 100. Now you can see the width of the table uh, is not increased because 100 is a very small number for them. It's, I'm taking 300. You can see the width is increased. What if I want to improve, uh, increase the height, I'll take H-E-I-G-H-T, H-E-I-G-H-T, height. In that, I'm gonna take again 300. Oops, no restriction for certain things. You can see, ah, uh, uh, that doesn't look good. But even though, like, you have increased the height, you have increased the uh, width. That is the, I can say the, uh, in the width, width you have increased the width. Now, coming on to the next, uh, next thing. Uh, what if I want to move my table? My table is here. I want to move it here. I want to move it there. I want to move it any like I want to move it to the any place I want it on the page now within this only I'm gonna take my style tag style uh, equals now if you want your table to be in the center you have I'm not talking about the absolute center I'm talking about this center like this if you want uh, your table to be in this place you have to take in the margin you have to take margin here colon and in that you have to take arrow there it is now you can see that table is moved from here so it is the value of the margin that you are giving auto so it was here if I want to move down I have to increase the number of uh, blank lines for blank lines I have EM I have to take 
uh, number of blank lines from the top for example if I want 10 blank lines so I'll write 10 blank lines space now it came down if I want 20 I can improve that if I want 5 I can go like that move around my table like this now what if I want to move my table to the left and right that is again very important thing there is another attribute that you have to take I'll put a semicolon here space I'll take margin you can see that margin margin bottom you have margin left right and top if it's margin left 600 px you can see that it's moved now now I can move that for uh, I can just move it uh, for f 6000 let's see what happens it go is it's went off it's went off now what if I take 800 it will come yes yeah <laughs> if I want to move to the right I will take right here no problems R I G S T now it will move here if 300 it came here now you can see it's from top from top it's gaps gap from the top gap from the bottom it means like that gap from the bottom it will move up okay that was all about today thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there are so many tutorials uh, for computer science like button press the like button as the bell icon thank you guys for today you can subscribe for more such videos thank you very much